Before us humans ever left the Earth, we've had a nasty habit of sending other creatures up to the heavens above to test whether or not space travel was safe. Most people think that monkeys or dogs were the first species to ever leave our precious planet. But it turns out neither monkeys or dogs were actually first. Welcome to Irregular Facts. Space, the final frontier. Ever since fiction writers such as Jules Verne and H.G. Wells had written about interplanetary travel, humans have been intrigued by the idea of leaving our planet. However, scientists were very cautious as space could theoretically be very dangerous, but nothing about it was known for certain. How could we bring a human into space, and more importantly, how can we bring them back in one piece? How would a human being react to being in a weightless environment? All these questions had to be somewhat answered before anyone would be going up there in a rocket. This is where the animals came in. The ethics of using an animal for testing ways of space exploration is something wildly debatable. Common beliefs say more people have gone to space than animals have for testing. However, this is plainly incorrect. Over the years, a lot, and I mean a lot, of animals have been shut up into outer space. But which species was there first? Well. It might surprise you. We have to look for an animal that is at least 100 times smaller than a dog. The first animal that has left planet Earth was a fruit fly. There was a container of fruit flies that was launched up to a height of 108 kilometers or 68 miles using a captured Nazi V2 rocket on February 20th, 1947. These first space explorers also came back to our planet's surface safely by parachute. After this test, Many more were done with different species of animals. By far the most famous animal to have ever been in space is Laika. This Russian stray dog from the streets of Moscow became the first dog to be sent into orbit. Her death was foreseen even before the launch of her spacecraft Sputnik 2. There was no time to work out any re-entry strategy and Laika eventually died after only a few hours into the flight due to stress and heat. Sputnik 2 eventually burned up in the atmosphere five months later. Many other animals have also been lost while undergoing space travel tests. Since the 50s, animal species that have been used for space travel research include monkeys, mouses, dogs, rabbits, cats, tortoises, turtles, spiders, and even bees and other insects. Eventually, on the 12th of April, 1961, the Vostok 1 spacecraft with Yuri Gagarin on board was launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Gagarin went on to become the first human in space that day. Okay, so humans weren't the first to travel into space, but we were the first to travel to the moon, right? Wrong. In 1968, the Soviets launched a spacecraft called the Zond 5 that went on to be the very first to ever circle the moon and come back safely to Earth. Inside were two Russian tortoises, wine flies, mealworms, plants, seeds, and bacteria. So far, we have discovered a lot of things about the universe. But newer technology is bringing us further and further every year. Someday, Earthlings might even migrate to Mars. If you do end up there, just be sure to be on the lookout for any dogs or cats walking around. You know, they could have gotten there before you did. What is your opinion on this matter? Are you for or against animal testing in outer space? Let's talk in the comment section down below. You can also use this comment section to request any new subjects for next week's episode. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and I will see you next week.